Good morning, friends. It's Wednesday, August 19th. Pastor Kathy and I, I'm Pastor Jim, we're co-pastors at Christ Covenant Church here in Harleysville. I'm wearing a General Nash t-shirt. That's where Kaisa went to elementary school and feeling a little bit like, ah, you know, for parents and grandparents, aunts, uncles, students, with all of this upset and uh, uncertainty with schools, I'm feeling for you, we're feeling for you. Well, our devotional today comes from the upper room. Uh, just as a reminder, there are new upper rooms and our daily breads in the little mailbox right on the porch at the parsonage. So please feel free to come by and grab those someday. Our title for today uh, is Investing in Others. And our author for today is a guy named Cletus L. Hole III from Pennsylvania. Uh, his text for today is Matthew 5, 13 to 16, focusing on verse 16. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. He writes this, In my earliest ministry with youth at a small church, I had to start from scratch with no resources. Although I had no idea what I was doing, I also knew that God could use the youth at this church. I believed I could connect with them and be their pastor. One day, God opened up my opportunities when I was invited to join a group of neighborhood boys who were playing football. Reluctantly, I decided to play, but only because I knew that I needed to take part in their lives if they were ever going to consider anything I had to say. Early on, the ball rolled right to me. I picked it up and started running. After colliding with one of the boys, I stumbled into the makeshift end zone. Almost immediately, all these boys became part of the youth ministry at the church. My experience in youth ministry taught me that if I want people to be interested in what I say, I first need to be interested in what they say and do. I've applied this principle in all my ministry. The good news of Jesus spreads first by embracing the lives of others. This is what I believe the incarnation of Jesus is truly about. He has a prayer here, and we're going to address that prayer in just a minute, but I'm going to add a couple prayer notes as well in there. Uh, one is for a little boy, a six-year-old boy named Walker, who is a relative of Mim and Don Dillmore. He's faced some, and is facing some serious, serious uh, health issues right now. And the other one is a note of sadness and a note of joy as well. Our beloved Jean Roberts uh, passed away on Monday morning. And while we are grief stricken uh, because she is no longer here with us, we are filled with joy because she has uh, received the hope and the promise of our faith, eternal life in heaven. And so Archie, her husband who died 40 years ago, Jean is uh, there in heaven now as well. And so we will pray for those as well. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to reach into the lives of people we meet every day to reflect to them the light of your love. Amen. And God, we continue in prayer for Mim and Don Dilmore and their relatives. I believe it was in Colorado, this little boy, Walker, who's six years old. Uh, God, I'm not sure all the issues. There were a myriad of issues. Uh, he had gone to school and he's home and was uh, sick, I think. Uh, maybe even unconscious. So God, we pray for the medical staff uh, there in Colorado, for Don and Mim, for their relatives. Uh, we thank you for Mim and Don and their faithful prayers for their and their love for this little great nephew, I think, of theirs. And so we pray for, for that whole family, Walker's whole family. And God, we lift up Mark and Julie Roberts. Um, we thank you for Jean's life. Uh, we thank you for Archie's life. And God, we thank you for the time that Jean had uh, with Mark and Julie up there in upstate Pennsylvania these past uh, seven, eight, uh, nine months uh, since she moved up there. Thank you for that time. We rejoice that she has received uh, the promise of our faith, eternal life in heaven. Thank you, God, that our faith allows us to have peace with you and peace with others, uh, the forgiveness of sins, and life eternal. So God, for those that mourn, we pray for comfort and we rejoice again knowing that Jean has received the promise of her faith, life eternal in heaven. We give you thanks, God. There are a number of other things we can pray for today, but 
we, we specifically list these two things to you today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Just a couple notes as well. We've got uh, a leadership team tonight. Pray for us. We've also got uh, all kinds of things coming up over the weekend. Sunday school, worship. Uh, keep those in your prayers as well. And a final note that Gene's service, Gene Roberts' service, is scheduled for next Friday, Ju uh, June, uh, August 28th, here at uh, Christ Covenant Church outside uh, visitation of some sort at 10 o'clock service at 11 o'clock we don't have all of those details yet but that's the plan right now June 28th and as things unfold we'll let you know of course there'd be proper and correct social distancing and all that kind of stuff blessings on you today and have a great rest of the day